yeah, it now looks better that uh, has now background so it looks more uh, like an output yeah we don't like it but uh, hopefully they're not too intrusive they're now delayed like by 10 seconds or so i probably could delay them further i was just try, uh, playing around with the delay function which is done on my server server and yeah this need to be made clear that that filter order is only affecting the frequency domain should we do it now there's a description so the filter or the selector choose from one to four just the sharpness of the band filter the default the setting is at two and why do i have a feel of feeling that's now that looks correct this thing would not actually show you the value like um, the window size there that the uh, little value there will actually change this is in production by the way therefore yeah, so you can go uh, check it out it's in this url popped in the chat for you to play with you can change your uh, different uh, types of uh, wavelets at the window size yeah there's a lot to play with so I might leave that there for now uh, we have another blog uh, hopefully all these blogs will eventually turn into web applications so they will be more useful than just text they will actually show something uh, uh, useful like uh, eg signal quality and um, yeah we can do a lot we can do a web application there yeah this application is an earlier version so a simpler version of the eg data time and frequency domain it's just scrolling through the file you can select your channel seconds same as the previous tool the newer tool uh, this one here obviously has also options to the uh, signal uh, less uh, noisy you can uh, play with that okay the ads are really annoying should be probably showing this uh, on my development server not in production uh, what else let's go to the bottom quickly jump around this one uh, yeah those five do not currently work so should i go out of these three any preferences for what i should be looking at first uh, let's open them quickly side by side yeah we had the original tool that used to work uh, we have some description uh, to it that we can pop into a chgpt might as well do it straight away i'm pretty sure we had something already feature extraction so this is feature extraction from images I actually have some uh, unique uh, images that i could be uh, trying this on feature extraction right we don't have a description that's that old uh, lab view the uh, html it's actually uh, whatever php yeah i'm getting rid of them and uh, let's have an info text first that we had the original video it actually shows how it's supposed to work but this text can be popped up in here we have the description there class feature void detector detects corners in an image using the features from accelerated segment test fasd algorithm fast identifies all interesting features in an image and selects features so that they're consistently detected harris corner detector uses the harris corner detector algorithm to detect corners the harris corner detector is a mathematical operator that finds corners in an image she tamazi corner detector uses the she tamazi corner detector algorithm to detect corners uh, okay so we that's description enough so we have our inputs and detector type image options fast aris and she tomasi yeah we have that description in the bottom and we also need the raw data option this will be on off and the output or should we just display the raw the original image no, let's just display the original image. So I have our outputs, original 
a processed oh come on <laughs> github yes and process the image right and that's some description so the, now the question is uh, should this be a flask application or not or can it uh, run on the client side start the new chat going to be four straight away yeah let's see what it says Okay, many considerations, server size, processing, privacy, reusability and integration, development consideration. Yeah, on the client side, there might be limited capabilities. Let's go with Flask. Yeah, and we already have like what the 8, 9, 10 uh, of them already. So it's just another one should be easier. I'm also checking what the images we could use as uh, examples a uh, basic uh, structure so we have a web interface backend the backend does uh, get post requests uh, using opencv to implement the feature detection that's great saving the images temporarily that's okay maybe change it later displaying the output uh, handling raw data uh, what that actually is interesting. Uh, normally when you're talking about biomedical images, you're thinking, you know, scans. But yes, actually, time series data can also be an image. So this actually could be quite an interesting thing to do. Because we could just go into one of the other uh, tools and uh, uh, generate quite a few images and see how the image detector deals with them. Or should we go imaging examples because the algorithm will be steps to implement feature detection install flask open suite python headless i have flask install yeah i ajax did use ajax in one of the application but not in a more recent one it shouldn't matter too much so eg versus uh, versus say a uh, micro ct scans just see what it says yeah obviously you, you will process the image uh, quite uh, differently and you'll probably look at the um, different features Purpose of use microsity data characteristics volumetric image processing a uh, complexity of data yes the data is more complex i mean um uh, i don't think i have 3d images anyway that will be we could try and get some 3d micro ct but at first stage it probably just gonna be 2d images yeah and what's the final outcome is that just using it for example in one but the diagnostics what clinical setting research development and engineering context this will dictate the precision speed we have one like uh, many for educational purposes at the moment uh so speed is important uh, optimize for speed now yeah where, where do we get the images from is important I have another folder called data uh, index html uh, let's do the structure of last application files and folders don't need to spell correctly just people understand baseline main page result display okay so not in a single page panel for a single page panel your application static js images that's all the root definitions it's a bit odd can i have a standard what was the last application that we have made this one Let's do it in the same way. IG spectrum, chamd noise. Yeah, I like this structure. And this will be the images. And we'll see where we get the images from in a second. Right. So the app is called a feature extraction. It will have an app 
why a requirements readme static style is this one what's the standard name for main javascript templates index html now data this will be images the javascript is not for eg and this will be image and let's do this okay i don't know why i just rearranged the thing explaining each file i didn't ask you to that's okay uh, can we stop generating that and uh, have those those go next a uh, generate only say code for the updated html for well just html i mean this is the first time i'm generating html so yeah we're just generating the templates a javascript file that's while it's generating let's do the folders quickly or should we just copy them uh, we have the info file let's copy those quickly my app requirements we will need to regenerate those it's javascript yeah we're using the dom content loaded that looks good I file and straight away correct this into the new application name generated some python code just the template right we already generated the html uh, yes we want a separate css and probably after css we'll have to update the html again obviously we're not ready to deploy with we just started literally with this application okay where is the css yes all the body h1 h2 should be commented out right, html template yeah just checking that it doesn't have any styling or javascript in it because we would like all those be separate Okay, I don't like this already because I said the style CSS is not in CSS folder. Content ID, form, input, file, image. And we're using um, plotly JavaScript main. A JavaScript can be renamed main JavaScript. Need some images and data, or at least one. If we add doing the eg a segment we could actually this is actual an actual seizure uh, how about download plot as png uh, let's call it seizure one png pop it into data info okay more prompts example image to use is in um, we haven't done python yet so we're using flask secure file and what just go with it for now okay example the images in this file okay in html where do we edit so it looks like again yeah choose file <laughs> definitely uh, okay all the uh, image files are in this folder I choose first file by default so this actually does not matter just pop another uh, image in there we actually had this images for the wavelet the image compression and uh, which one's good yeah the first one which compress wavelet right so this should be in static images first one mri brain uh, say all two yes yeah, say this one static images okay let's rename this into images and put it in the static folder name this one a o one seizure yeah so it's just on top of the file a copy path 
it's meant to be relative path static images seizure one or one seizure is static images folder choose for first file by default and a drop down menu to select the image file yes for the the detector type we want to do that yeah and that's github copilot and those are good why are we using web browsing should be just using the standard gpt4 default filter out files that are not images if necessary yeah we don't really have to do it well not at this stage to change our html render template yeah we don't need that secure file uh, import because the images will be just on the server get rid of that image folder that's right yeah we don't want a dummy extraction function we want a real extraction function yeah let's update this python code html next doesn't mean we don't need plotly the plotly chart right so we have the file choose an image choose detector and why is that not populated why is it something that is flicking question is it if it's rewriting the whole uh, flask up or just the bit debugging is true yeah we're still debugging uh, if you have snippet this dear let's create an index html template for the drop down so html uh, bum, 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 scripts drop down menu that's the same image yep yeah option it's just the same i don't get it uh, why is this not populated images static images and in index html i'm going in circles here Heck, this is just the same don't get it all right i know what the problem is because i'm not running it as a flask application i have to run it as flask that helps doesn't it file not file static images static images static images how come the file is not found copy search and the folder copy relative file example get can you quickly fix this for me so we can actually move on to the actual development is the whole thing are you suggesting me to replace right okay now it's working okay we are in business make sure images are displayed now i'm using copilot all the time it's just i actually had to change its settings as well um uh copilot no, no i'm uh, yeah i'm using it all the time uh, i didn't realize it had um, quite a few uh, settings that i uh yeah i think it was actually set up for developers where you doing everything myself i'm not a developer so now it actually should be better i haven't checked it yet make sure images displayed in the html files so i can i can try them both side by side i would actually love to ditch chgpt uh, well because it's more expensive i don't really need it if i knew how to use github copilot properly so for example yeah i'll try them both to say you'll see it's directing us to change html because we're meant to have these two images original and um, processed 
so we have the drop down menu drop down menu right here a place or reach and and process stage side by side yeah that was uh, yeah now it's thinking and it generated the whole code giving me two options yeah like the second one accept for tab save um didn't i say side by side definitely not side by side um original image shoe ba, 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 ba. and well can it see script html make sure the images are displayed in the html file first image uh, yeah so this is a much better example let me place it together right so yeah you can tell um gpt3 is actually having context for the whole thing i'm surprised GitHub Copilot, assuming it has access to all my files and everything, it's in literally in the development suite. But when it's giving me advice, it's giving me generic stuff. Whereas ChatGPT gave me the actual file with the right folder, and it actually works. So yeah, the thing with 3.5 is uh, yeah, I think it's a problem that people use it and then they get disappointed from it the main reason i'm able to use uh, and i don't know why it's in web browsing is the fact i can start fresh for now I'll do it quickly because i'm running out of time but if i'm in default gpt4 the main reason i'm able to use it is because it can store the whole context for all the files so if i have all this one two three four five six files if i pop each uh, one um, of them well, don't info i'll go info last the order is important index html first so if i start from scratch the good thing about it is it the right file yeah yeah and i'm and i'm just telling it to read the code and don't generate anything else and that's because it then stores everything in in its memory somehow can use this this line seem to work uh, quite well the end uh, pop this again so it's actually yeah it says uh, yeah great the cause provided question uh, so it has it in memory it read the flask application and that's great style says as i can sort it out later as well um, JavaScript is most important. And we use the same uh, line. Confirm you read it and do not generate anything, any code or anything else. Uh, copy all. Yeah, so GPT-4 is able to, to keep the context of of all the different files so we're talking what we're we talking 100 lines in html 30 lines in uh, flask so far 40 in javascript um, and now i can actually ask it questions so i'll go into my application um, Yes, that HTML that uh, GitHub Copilot generated didn't actually work. Now I'm actually trying to find it and get rid of it. Uh, this one here. It gave me very generic stuff. and uh, Yeah, I just don't know how to use it. The whole point for me is that I'm able to um where was i oh yeah read the javascript uh, it gave me some error or something so generating another prompt you don't have to worry about spelling just pop it in as is and it's giving me yeah it has the context so that's the stuff that i already have and then it's telling me what i need to change 
and it looks correct. I don't have the processed image yet. Hopefully we'll have it soon enough. It saves. Yeah, I don't have the processed uh, image. That's a problem. And and it can do processing for me because it had the Python code as well. Okay, I'll continue this later. See you in a bit.